What's up guys, Inferno912 from this side, another episode from Match of Empires for Beginners, this is part 3 and today we're gonna talk about events. This is again a very short video, much shorter than the previous one. Uh, today I just want to show you as an example of events, uh, supply and demand and merchants uh, challenge. So supply and demand, this is very simple and nice, as long as you just want to uh, looking for uh, to get few rewards not be too greedy if you are actually uh, trying to get to the top then you need to be very prepared for it rush and it's very difficult for beginners unless your realm is new and it's not too many strong players otherwise this is very hard okay i won this one a long time ago and um, once i get first place uh, twice i get second and then less but to be honest when it's a uh, less time i prefer to do, just do enough points uh, to get those three main rewards done okay second is just exchanging the our resources in trading posts so this is uh, also very easy and what we have to do for the trading first well if we got notification what kind of what events coming up for example next one is lottery so that means i'm not going to play lottery right now going to wait for the event it's the same in this one so i knew the this challenge going to happen so i gather much resources as i can for example uh, some food but also coins are important anything what you want to trade will will count so what you are, the only thing what you have to do is finding the trading post with some deal which is good for you and send it send the caravan with the food if you follow all my advices in this game if you build all the farms on the side that means you're producing full food all the time so don't worry about if you see on the tr uh, on the trading post the deal is minus 14 percent or even minus 30 percent that food is the most easy resources what you're gonna get in this game so just trade the best you're gonna see for coins that's all what you need i see the eight percent on the stone and i got very i'm very low on the stone so i'm gonna trade that as well okay so we keep looking for some uh, cool things so you see that we can sell the nice amount of uh, bread there but we can't forget then we can also change we're doing another event in the same time so you need to balance how many matches you can send again don't worry about if you're not on that enough level then you can't send the six matches like i do right now completely don't worry about it remember then in higher your base level then harder events are because you're putting up against different players this is all mixed up uh, the exchange trading is a event for whole alliance right now so this is nothing to worry about this is just trade much as you can you know this is teamwork with the solo you need to be focused on it and another thing what you can do to make yourself in a little bit better position you got your champion depends how many points you have don't again don't worry about it if you don't have it enough but look at my, my setup if i want it just fight and i got plenty of time for example to stay on the game and i just really want to do the events the uh, research is on building is on everything is else is on then i will consider first uh, to speed up the march all the matches all the points on the march so i can gather money as i can those goods and another one can be trade caravan so they are bigger amounts of uh, goods what we can trade so it's making your life much easier much better uh, the progress talents are very cool you know there's all nice options around here so it's very worth if you actually really want to spend long time period and you actually fight for the top rewards i definitely suggest you even to if you are on any income you can spend a little bit of that gold and change to progress but check what kind of players you're against i mean what what kind of realm you are in if the realm is quite old 
and uh, there is most of events are very difficult to do so maybe better to save it and keep training if it's something what you uh, you know prefer to do it maybe in the future if depends also on the amount of gold what you're holding so we collecting those uh, so those goods there are only few kinds and then we have to trade them uh, in here in the merchant the deals are changing in time on the beginning the uh, points are very low so i advise you to uh, wait for a while and just collect the goods and then in one go or it depends what kind of deal you can find uh, just go and uh, change whatever you can okay another thing what i want to tell you guys is if you your matches are all busy sending the goods other thing what you can do if you find something on the map just mark it sometimes it might be useful maybe lucky then somebody didn't see it didn't pick it up for example i mark one good like a minute ago or something and it's still here i've done it a couple times it's worked fine for me and maybe it's gonna work for you I'll try to pick up some of those goods because uh, I've been incorrupt while recording, to be honest, a few times. There's a plenty of uh, those goods to pick up right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark one in this area, so I'm not going to just cut it out. I uh, don't have to, uh, you know, mark every single one of them can just keep searching for for new ones like here and here there's plenty of them so another thing what i want to let you know guys uh, so we got six items to collect in total six kinds the first two i can tell you try to collect many as you can because this one you're going to trade the most the third one that's a mix a little bit not that many the same with next next to it there isn't too many on the map and to be honest you're not gonna trade that often like the first two pearls don't worry about it you know I sometimes when I got 15 that was uh, sometimes hard for me to sell them all and then last one on the list this one you try to get it because sometimes you can get uh, nice points for it and they are very rare on the map anyway so that's it guys uh, remember to wait until you're gonna sell your good you can get online and uh, you know a little bit later to uh, do this event so you can get better points uh, be patient as always in this game don't forget to hit encounters anytime you can uh, don't don't rush with this as well uh, there is a nice rewards but everything gonna come in time to you and so take it easy and guys thanks for watching and i will see you on the next part if you got any questions leave me in the comments below as always i would be very happy to answer you and don't forget to check my other videos see you next time